Russia signed friendship and cooperation treaties with Georgia's breakaway regions of South Ossetia and Abkhazia on Wednesday. Georgian officials criticized the accord as another step in annexing their country's territory. Russian President Dmitry Medvedev pledged his country will protect the regions. Therefore, no one should have any doubts that we will not allow new military adventurism. No one should have any illusions about this. Russia sent thousands of troops into Georgia last month after Georgia tried to retake control of South Ossetia by force. Moscow has said it will keep its troops in the breakaway Georgian regions. In Washington, U.S. Under Secretary of State William Burns told U.S. lawmakers that both Georgia and Russia acted improperly. Georgia's decision to use force to reassert its sovereignty over South Ossetia against our strong and repeated warnings was short-sighted and ill-advised, but there was no justification for Russia's disproportionate response. Burns said Russia's economy is suffering, in part because of its recent military actions. Capital is fleeing Russia, with $7 billion leaving the country on August 8th alone, according to Russian Finance Minister Kudrin. The ruble has depreciated by nearly 10 percent since the Georgia crisis began. Burns said Washington is working with its European allies and the International Monetary Fund to send a strong signal of economic support to Georgia. The IMF has approved a $750 million loan. A White House spokesman again called on Russia to respect Georgia's territorial integrity. He urged Russia to fulfill its commitment to withdraw its forces to positions they held before last month's conflict. Robert Raffel, VOA News.